Hi, my name is John Liberatore from My Media Inc. Welcome for stepping into the new era of data visualization. You're probably hearing a lot about data visualization. Today we're going to explain a few things about data visualization. I'm going to talk to you about the why. Um, about the why is it important, about the history of visualization, how it all started, the evolution of data, and the most exciting thing we're seeing today is data intelligence, also known as business intelligence. And that's one of the most exciting fields uh, for me anyway, and we'll explore a little bit about that and also see some examples. So let's dive right into it and talk about why visualization. Well. It's something that humans do very well. When we see something, we're just uh, we're very good at it. We, you know, we things make sense to us in a visual format, and it's also we're very good at analyzing, matching patterns, images, and what it might whatever it might be. When we see a stop sign, you know what to do instinctively. When we see a green light, it's just uh, we're very very proficient at, um, at at assessing all this information at a moment's notice. I mean, look at this image here. Imagine if I had a huge magnifying glass and I was looking at it and all I would see is oh my god these are just millions and millions of dots but when you take all those millions of dots and formulate this image I see it's a swirl and I can look at it at a glance and I know that it's a swirl I recognize that it's a swirl and I do that within a moment's notice and whatever it might be maybe that data is telling me oh my god all my sales are you know, spiraling down, whatever it might be, or spiraling up, which is a good thing. But in a moment, I could recognize what the information is. But also, let's look, let's look at the, also the challenges that we have today with all this data coming at us. I mean, they're just a lot of different systems, a lot of different applications. The biggest challenge is how we're we going to manage all this information coming at us from left, right, and center. You know, it's. Uh, it, it, it can be a, a quite a challenge when we're looking at um, all these systems and you know it's a full-time job for analysts out there looking at this information and it takes time to process that data you know and then answers come back a week later from analysts was thinking great but that was a week ago what about today what about now how do we process this information in real time so imagine all of this information just coming at us where we can actually take it and process it, make sense of it, and give you a composite picture of what that business is today. That's what we're going to be showing you. But let's take another little uh, understanding of what's also some of what, the, what, what data can do for some businesses and a little glimpse of some history here. Henry Ford was a master when it came to vehicle production. And a great story that I heard was what he did was with chalk. He wrote on the production floor to, and shared with each different shift of saying to the day shift manager and say, this is the number of cars the production people did last, last night. And instinctively there was competition amongst the day shift and the night shift and say, well, we're going to beat that number. We're going to produce more. And they achieved that. And of course, Henry Ford reaped the benefit of that. I think that was probably, you know, the early onset of KPIs of putting in a very crude format. But even more crude, we're looking at the stock market, which is, if you think about it, not too long ago, we captured information on a chalkboard and information. And, and that was important to see, where we needed to make decisions based on information that we saw and important decisions, whether you're going to lose money, make money, opportunities that are presented, and this is really what we're about. You know, opportunities happen in the here and now, and success happens to the, the ones that act on it. You know, buy, sell, you've heard it all before. But in due time, things got better. We got computers, we got DOS, remember that? <laughs> You know, and um, data, you know what analysts look like? You know, to me, if I look at all this data here in a raw format, it looks like that big swirl, be magnifying, zooming into that. But, um, you know, over time, you know, data visualization in, in, in the infancy got a little bit better. We started to see this and it's great. But when you have a lot of different systems and, and lots happening, you need to see multiple different bar graphs, pie charts, all at one time. And the benefits were numerous. What they did was it was a lot easier to understand. You know, you can see things. You know, uh, this seems to be a marketing um, uh, 
a dashboard that gives information and it breaks it all down for us. You know, we understand, you know, at a first glance of what's going on here. And also we can see the data, the relationship with other systems. We can see the patterns, we can see what's happening within the organization. And ultimately, bottom line is so people that are operating the business can say, let's take action, let's do this. And so if you're seeing that people are going to your website and you see that the numbers here, I think in the chart here, in the global chart that England seems to be on top, and you're trying to decide as a global company where we should you know, invest more in, where we're getting the best results, or where we should, the market seems ripe, and if it happens to be one particular country that all of your data is pointing to, that gives you that information right there in real time. And especially if it's like a website where things change dynamically on a, on a daily, hourly basis. And you could see this all right here and, and then. And so that's all the clear benefits of um, putting that information from multiple systems all into one pane. Uh, some examples that we did for um, one of our clients, a municipal um, call center, they um, had a challenge seeing their data in, it was a couple different, a phone system, the CRM system. We put it all together into one display where they saw the information. Here they saw calls in queue. Um, they saw um, what, was, well, what the calls were about over here. That was a CRM system. An opportunity also where they could, the supervisor could key in a message to everybody on the floor and say, hey, this is what's happening. So-and-so is on day off this is going to be so-so on break, whatever it might be. But also you can see what your fellow colleagues are doing. So if you're thinking about going on for lunch and you see, well, you know, Agent 7402 is currently on lunch and uh, maybe you need to wait. And, um, and this is just some examples of, of what we've done. But I, we also talked about at the beginning about business intelligence and about an opportunity where as businesses we see as we manage our businesses, we always look for opportunities. We find those opportunities through experience, through seeing patterns. And we talked about, so if this happens, I need to buy. If that happens, I need to sell, whatever it might be. And when you have a lot of different systems, maybe you're managing a lot of different inventory, a lot of different information, it gets lost. And we can build actual intelligence that will give you an if statement. So if this is low and reaches a certain point, this particular number, it can flash across the screen and saying, it can flash across the screen saying, oh, here's this particular number. And the building these if statements, these algorithms will give your system, your display, the intelligence it needs. An example of what I'm talking about over here, just a small, simple example, um, um, a help desk dashboard that we're currently working on. Um, to give you an example, uh, average time handled, that information was not even offered in their system that we are integrating with. Um, but we basically take the numbers, all the calls, multiply them, divide them, and a simple math gave us, here's our average time. Um, this, this is some intelligence of a statement that's saying, hey, this is a good number. Another layer of that intelligence is saying, the client's asking, well, let's color code it. Green is good, amber not so good. And whatever it might be, whatever is important to you, whether it's inventory that gets low and that you need it to turn amber if it, if it turns low so it notifies somebody, or maybe you need something to flash across the screen and make it really loud and jump out or flashing. This could all be done with business intelligence. And business intelligence, what makes managing large amounts of data easier and really exciting and because, let's face it, we all get bogged down, it gets busy, it gets, you know, these mistakes happen because there's just too much coming or something gets overlooked. If we could spit out notifications out on a board and everybody can see it on the sales floor, production floor, whatever it might be, we could help that, that business communicate in real time a lot more efficiently. I mean, whether it be, this is an example of a sales dashboard, whether here is you know John Doe and what he's achieved and that value change based on the algorithms and if statements that we talked about, 
make a statement here that, that means something to everybody on the floor and you can manage that business. And so when you put this all together, when you look at it in today's business environment and, and you're having less and less people and more and more information, whether that data is going to be on a video wall, someone's desktop, um, or a, a digital screen on the wall, all this data around us can make us, can tell us a story, can say something, and at a glance, like we saw the swirl, could say, oh, that's a swirl, I need to do X. Rather than looking at all the little data, uh, you know, that closely. And so you're, there's a myriad of applications that this could be brought into, whether it be, you know, the production floor and manufacturing. Um, example we mentioned before was um, seeing it in a sales environment. Um, a real life example, again, for the town of Oakville, they want to display energy from just a datering metering application they had, a basic website. Another example is the office demo sales dashboard. Um, this one we had a lot of different zones. We had sales from New York, Dallas, uh, production, uh, leads, announcements, a whole bunch of stuff. And it's all these widgets combining with real-time information. It was, it was really just a lot of fun to see because every time the data changed, it populated within like 30 seconds or less. And so that was really, really cool to see that. So you're probably wondering, how does it all work? Well, it's um, quite simple. Well, our programmers don't like when I say it's simple, but the, the, how it flows is really, really, uh, the process is uh, just a few steps. Um, when you think about what your envision is, we sit down with the designers, and the designers in Photoshop design that. We send you a JPEG and you approve that. Maybe you throw it up on your display board and see how that looks. The next step is basically we take it then to our programmers and they basically develop that in HTML5. And the benefit of that, it's also responsive. So the uh, dashboard that you're looking at, you can whip out your, your mobile device and it's, it, it'll render itself quite nicely for a mobile phone. Um, and that's the benefit of that. The, um, and I think we, uh, most of all, is that we can, you know, we can uh, work with multiple different formats. Once we uh, understand the API and how the data is flowing, we pull all from that data, those databases. And again, we can do this from multiple different, different applications and show it all into one cohesive dashboard, like some of the examples that you just saw. So if you have some ideas or things that some challenges of some data and how you're trying to represent it in one cohesive fashion to make a statement and you want to add some business intelligence, call us. I want to hear about kind of what your challenges are. And if we could just have that dialogue of saying, hey, I can give you some examples and point you in the right direction saying, you know, have you tried this and tried that. If you want to engage our, our team, um, our designers, Oh, they'd be more than happy to help you with some ideas of how we can display your data in a way that can actually make your company um, successful, take that frustration away, whatever it might be that you, those challenges you're having, we would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.